I saw The Flash on digital the other day, which was not long after the theatrical release. I know what you're thinking. The film must be really good if it's already left the cinemas. The Flash has had its fair share of issues. Originally intended to be released in 2016, the DC Universe's take on The Flash has faced many production issues, causing it to be delayed for seven years. Ezra Miller, the face of The Flash has been subject to severe controversy. From being accused of grooming minors and leading his own cult, it's safe to say that this guy is pretty crazy. And this put The Flash film in a difficult spot for Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers are in almost $50 billion in debt and have recently cancelled films such as Batgirl. Batgirl was an almost completed film that became unreleased for a tax break and also to not have to pay millions for marketing. That, or the test screenings were so awful that they decided to pull the plug on the film that they had already finished. After Batgirl was cancelled, the previous DC film Shazam 2 tanked massively at the box office, and it's kind of a shame, because the film was honestly not that bad. But then you remember why most people won't watch it. The DCEU was such a massive failure for Warner Brothers that they've cancelled the whole universe itself. So it's no wonder that the last few films have had no hype around them. It also didn't help that the budget for The Flash was $220 million. After all these issues, any normal person would think that The Flash would do terribly at the box office. And if you are one of those people, you would be correct. As of this video, The Flash has made a measly $267 million at the box office. After including marketing costs, this film has turned out to be one of the biggest box office bombs of all time and has lost over $200 million for Warner Brothers. But the most important question is, is the film any good? No, in fact it's horrible. It's one of the worst superhero films I've ever seen. Kind of ironic when it was marketed as the best ever superhero film. So what's actually wrong with it? I think it's important to discuss the big elephant in the room with this film, the CGI. I was aware of the universal opinion of this film that the CGI was terrible, but nothing could prepare me for what it actually looks like. The CGI in this film often looks bad, even if it was released 20 years ago. A lot of the scenes include characters that are fully CGI, and they look so uncanny. It's so awful that this film had to rely so much on it. Even the chase scenes in the city are clearly done on green screen, when it would have looked a lot better if they filmed it on location. This results in the whole film looking extremely ugly. It's frankly baffling that this film's budget was $220 million. So one of the most important aspects of a big blockbuster like this absolutely sucks. And because this sucks, it causes the action to suffer. The action is forgettable at best, and at worst looks like a PlayStation 2 cutscene. The director of The Flash actually defends the visual effects, and doesn't think it ruins the action scenes. Andy Muschietti says, Everything is distorted in terms of light and textures. We enter this water world, which is basically being in Barry's POV. It was part of the design, so if it looks a little weird to you, that was intended. Yeah, don't worry, we all believe you Andy. The story is so dull and cookie cutter, especially in today's market of superhero films. The fact that it's another multiverse film just seems like a disingenuous way to get more ticket sales. It's just a much blander version of Spider-Man No Way Home, and even that wasn't great. I just love the moral of this time travel story, you shouldn't change the past. Yeah, we haven't heard that one before. I also love the continuous references to much better films. It doesn't get jarring or anything after a while. In Back to the Future, all of the new characters, and I mean all of them, are so pointless. If you think Ezra Miller as The Flash is annoying, you just wait until you see the younger version he plays. And although seeing Michael Keaton as Batman again is a novelty, it's just that. He's okay in this film, but to be honest, they don't really do much with his character, partly because he's not in it enough. He just comes off as a bit boring, and there's no character arc with him. Supergirl is in this film, and she could have been an interesting character, but like with Batman, she's not in the film enough, and the other cameos are so false for no reason. Wonder Woman is randomly in this like she is in Shazam 2, and it's even more pointless in this film. At least in Shazam 2 there was some sort of build up to it, but no she's randomly there again, in a film franchise where it's uncertain that Gal Gadot will even play her again. 
It's so great to see the CGI cameo abominations of previous Supermans. It's not absolutely horrifying or anything. Even the humour in this film just isn't funny. I can't remember a single funny line from the whole movie. There was only one bit of visual humour at the start that made me smile, but that was it. So for a more light-hearted superhero film, almost nothing works. The Flash is an incredibly weak superhero film that throws too much shit at the wall, and most of it doesn't stick. It's a complete mess that is honestly embarrassing for a studio like Warner Brothers to release. I would not recommend this film at all, and I'm rating it a 3 out of 10. It's junk. First class junk. And